when we do a build the output and the final product of that build is called build artifact basically all the files that are produced by compiling a code is the artifact and we normally package it into a zip file or something like that and uh, once a build is successful you can see the build artifact if you hover your mouse on this icon because we haven't worked on it yet there is no build artifact for this build right now in order to define the build artifact you have to go to your build configuration and again click on edit configuration settings in here once you are on the general settings you will see that there is a box and it says artifact paths artifact paths means that all the files that you want to package into for example a zip file or a nugget package or anything like that should basically be defined in this box what we want to do is that we want to get the output of this publish command into a zip file for example and we know that the output directory is a directory called build which is located in our working directory so if i go to general settings i can add the files to a zip file the syntax that we use in here is called ant syntax in this syntax plus means add minus means remove for example if i want to say add all the files in for example build folder we can say add if I wanted to say remove, that would be minus colon. So plus means add, colon should be always there. And I can say dot forward slash build. And then we can say all files, for example. Or if build is a folder, you can remove that forward slash star. And that means that becomes basically everything, all the files in that folder and now in order to say that all these files have to go to for example a zip file we can say move this to cicd demo dash rt fact or artifact depending how you spell it and we save now if i go and run the build again see what happens so the build is successful now this icon has a color if i hover the mouse you will see that there is a zip file there and if I expand it, you see all the files that have gone into that zip file. And basically these are all the files that we sent to the build folder. And you can even click on that zip file and download it. And you using this artifact, you can do things that you want. Uh, what we want to do is we want to push this to Octopus Deploy and deploy it using Octopus Deploy. If you wanted to use some other systems, you can do that as well. In TeamCity level two, we can see that how we can store this zip file on Amazon S3, for example. Once you create an artifact, it's stored in an internal storage of TeamCity.